and today I'm going to walk you through a series of exercises. So now I'm gonna start abs. Like I said before, I haven't done them in a while and uh, I wanna start with the lower and I just kinda improvise wherever I go. Uh, I just make it work. So this machine's available. It gives me just enough tension on my lower part of my abs. I could even sit here isometrically and work my lower abs. So you'd be amazed what you could do anyway. exercise I'm going to show you is going to be V-ups. Um, I'm going to start with straight legs, so I hit the upper and lower abs, breathing out when I come up. Then as I start slowing down, if I have to rest pause for a minute, I'll hold it and then I'll just continue with my knees up, so I just kind of rep it out. So that gives a nice little definition to your abs. Nice, uh, it's kind of like detailing work. You just go to a flat bench. Find your balance, put your hands in the back, you scoot yourself forward, start with your legs really low. And when you'll notice as I'm breathing with abs, when I bring my legs up, I expel my air. So it's like, and I do it on purpose to make sure that all the air is out. I don't want a puppy stomach. amino last for my BCAAs because I'm late on my meal. Next exercise is bicycle. So I'm, I'm working diagonally, but not, not in the whip. So it's slow, it's controlled. Don't use momentum. And I go my shoulder to my knee. When you're a beginner, that's all you need. One set to failure, and then you build up to two and three sets. So I'm a beginner with abs, so I'm good. That's what I'd like to say, and I hope to see you guys soon.